that you were under siege that entire first period. Uh, just from your perspective, what was going on in the D zone? Well, you got to give credit to Boston. They uh, they were just you know getting a lot of shots on net, and I think they generated a lot of chances just uh, from innocent shots. But with some traffic, some bounces, uh, you know, they generate some some better chances. So. Uh, I don't know if it's so much what we did. I think it's just they did a good job throwing pucks to the net. What got the legs going for the guys, I guess, midway through the second there? Uh, you know, it's, uh, it's the NHL. You know, guys can, uh, they know if, if things aren't going their way or if, uh, if they can be better. And, you know, everyone has a switch and they can turn it on. And um, maybe, uh, maybe it was a goal, maybe it was a save, maybe it was a hit. So, you know, whatever it is, uh, you know, we, we played well through a lot of points in this game and, um, you know, went to overtime. We still got the point and um, it was a good, good shot in the overtime there. Facing nearly 50 shots in regulation and you look back at your night, what do you like about what you were able to do? Well, you know, we talk about giving the team a chance to win and uh, I'd like to think I did that tonight and, you know, we'll, we'll still look at the four goals and see if there's anything I could have done better on any of them. I think, uh, you know, I still think the guys played really well, and there were some blocks, and guys played hard. It was a physical game, and, um, you know, they, they're they a good team. So down the stretch, we're going to play more good teams, and we're going to be in more close games. And uh, whether it goes to overtime or if we can finish it off in regulation, we just need to start getting two points. On the, uh, the tying goal, the guys challenged goalie interference. It looked yep. like Bergeron had a stick. Just take us through that play, and did that interfere with you? Uh, well, to be honest, I I didn't want to move because I didn't know if it was behind me. And you know, I've had it happen before where I've kicked my legs back and end up kicking the puck in. Uh, you know, I trust my guys to to do a good job on clearing out loose pucks, and sometimes it's just not going to go our way. And you know, they were good at getting biased in that, but I don't think it really interfered with me. I you know, I thought it was a good goal, and, um, but. There's no harm in trying, I think, and you know if that doesn't go in, maybe that's a deflating thing for them, and we can keep uh, keep the lead and just finish the game off in regulation. Face more shots in that first period today than you did the entire afternoon Sunday. I mean, that gets you into the game, obviously, yeah. pretty quick, doesn't it? Or? Yeah, you you get into your flow pretty pretty quickly, and uh, you know, like I said, they're they're good at getting shots to the net and. I don't know if there was a ton of great A's. You know, I think they just, uh, like I said, they can get pucks through and they do a great job going from low to high. And um, that's some team's MO. Just get a lot of shots and, you know, see what happens. Sometimes they're going to get bounces and go in and there's going to be nights where you're, you're going to make the other goalie look really good. So, Toronto comes to town tomorrow. Looking back at that game, you played against them. What made them so effective and hard to play against? Well, they got some young, skilled guys, you know, Matthews, Marner, uh, um, Nylander, and uh, they got some, you know, speedy guys on the blue line. They got a good goalie, and I think, to be honest, I don't know if they were playing their best in the first two periods in the outdoor game, and, you know, they turned it on the third, and, you know, that's, that's, what they can, that's what they can do. So we have to be ready tomorrow and from start to finish, and they're going to come out, and I think they're rolling pretty good right now. So it's going to be a good challenge for us, and you know, nothing changes. Nothing with our game plan changes. We have to show up and, and get two points. What's the thought collectively about the need to finish strong before the break? Oh, you don't, you don't want to go into a break on a, on a uh, sour note. You know, it's, I've been there playing pro and in college at any level if you go into a break and you maybe lose a few games in a row it, uh, it's, it's not a good feeling because then you think about it for the four or five days we have off and you know I, last two games yeah we lost in overtime but we have a good point streak going so it's important to remember the good positive things especially later in the season and you know we try and get a win tomorrow and go into the break with a really good feeling.